Good day, everyone. I am Mary Grace Arlibrado, a math teacher in the high school department, here to present my capstone project. My capstone project encapsulates the teaching pedagogies, learning theories, technologies, and artifacts that may be applied in trigonometry. And the basis for course design for this capstone project is the set of the fourth quarter topics from grade 9 mathematics course. This capstone project will contain the following. 1. Course description. 2. Learning theories and course design framework. 3. Course artifacts. 4. Design principle. And 5. Instructional strategies. Course description. The grade 9 mathematics course develops on basic program and follows the same essential principles. The overarching goal of the grade 9 mathematics course is to guarantee that all students have access to whatever secondary mathematics course they require to pursue future courses and vocations that interest them. This course is intended to be open among all students to work on their transition from elementary to secondary education. It provides chances for all students to establish a strong mathematical foundation, enhance their skills and knowledge, and cultivate their mathematical identity. This strategy enables students to make educated decisions about future courses based on their interests, as well as to assist future for apprenticeship programs, university, college, civic engagement, or the industry. Theories and course design framework. First, behaviorism. The two main creators of behaviorist approaches to learning were Skinner and Watson. In mathematics class, using the behaviorist theory, the teacher reviews previous material and homework, and then, demonstrates low-level problem solving, followed by seat work imitating the teacher's demonstration. For this course, it would be the five E's. Engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate, manifested in a course a framework and the learning design in the learning management system used by students. Next, Social Learning by Albert Bandura, and he is considered the father of social learning theory. Simply put, social learning theory is the idea that children learn from observing others. Next, Constructivism. Constructivist philosophies focus on what students can do to integrate new knowledge with existing knowledge to create a deeper understanding of Mathematics. Each philosophy identifies the student as an active participant in the teaching and learning process. In this course, constructivist perspective is on the evaluation through problem solving. Next, experiential learning. Experiential learning activities for math are an effective way to help students overcome their math anxiety, understand the real-life usefulness of what they are learning, and most importantly, have fun while learning math. In this course, it will be the performance tasks. So, behaviorism, have five E's, social learning, it's active prior knowledge activities and synchronous sessions, constructivism, evaluation through problem solving, and lastly, experiential learning through performance tasks. Next are the course artifacts. It demonstrates the theory and connection to the course. First, I have here modules incorporated in the learning management system that are widely used by the students. In this course, with the learning theory selected, it is integrated in the behaviorism learning theory manifested by the course framework, 5 E's, 
engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. Another one is the video conferencing recording videos that may be reviewed or downloaded by the students. It integrates social learning theory manifested by the synchronous sessions. Learning mathematics is often considered a difficult and boring subject for students. So I thought that ADDIE model could be used as design principle for this course. The analysis, design, develop, implement, and evaluate model. First, analysis. Before a teacher gets started on a content for his or her course, one must first need to understand the starting point. That's what analysis phase is all about. But taking a look at the current learning environment, educational goals, any constraints that might exist, or the desired timeline. Next, design. With those basic pieces mentioned, this is when uh, you will start to map out the basic flow and feel of whatever instructional material you're working on. Next, phase three, development. During the design phase, you did a lot of hard work in creating your course. Now, it's the time to pull it all together during the development phase when you're actually developing your course or training material. While in this phase, you'll secure presenters and fully flesh out the content you identified in the design phase. Next, implementation. A lot of hard work is behind you. You already rolled the course out to your team members. So think of this as your opportunity to introduce the training to anyone who will be facilitating it along with participants who will be using it. And lastly, evaluation. You did it. Your training has been rolled out. That's it, right? So this is when you get to ask the important question. Were you successful in achieving your learning objectives? There are many ways to evaluate the efforts poured. So you could send out a feedback survey to find out what your team thought of the course or a focus group discussion might do. That's the ADDIE model. Analysis, design, develop, implement, and evaluation. Are some of the instructional technologies I use in my class and also may serve as instructional strategies for my teaching pedagogies. First, I have here Microsoft Teams as one of my video conferencing tool. Or, if ever there are issues with Microsoft Teams, I might use Zoom as alternative video conferencing tool. Next, I also have here the formative app. It is a web-based tool to create assessments and deliver real-time individualized feedback to students. Next, Kahoot. Kahoot to gamify assessments for student engagement. Also, I have here Padlet. Padlet is to organize students' outputs in a digital canvas for collaboration and for sharing as well. Next, Quizzes to also gamify assessment for student engagement. Next, simulators, one of which is from GeoGebra, to show concepts in a multi-dimensional way for students to visualize. And lastly, I have here Blackboard Learn. It is a learning management system to provide contents and assessments for students. And that's it. That's my capstone project encapsulating the topics for grade 9 mathematics. Hope you've learned something. Thank you for listening.